Princess Beatrice breaks cover at Rolling Stones concert after new Prince Andrew claims. Princess Beatrice stepped out for a concert last night after fresh claims about Prince Andrew's disastrous Newsnight interview. Beatrice and her husband Eduardo Mapley Mozzi watched the Rolling Stones headline BST at Hyde Park in London on Sunday. The Royal, 33, who recently attended Glastonbury, was pictured looking relaxed and smiling at the music event. Beatrice's appearance comes after the producer behind the Duke of York's BBC interview claimed she believed his eldest daughter could have blocked the bombshell sit-down chat. The 33-year-old looked summery in an orange midi skirt, white top and denim jacket at the concert. She completed her outfit with white trainers and a wicker over-the-shoulder bag. Beatrice kept her makeup natural and wore her hair tied back in a ponytail. Meanwhile, Ado went for a smart casual look in black jeans, a blue shirt, blazer and trainers. The couple, who welcomed their daughter Sienna last year, took an evening off parenting duties to watch the Rolling Stones put on an incredible show. Beatrice's outing comes after fresh claims about Andrew's Newsnight interview in 2019 on his friendship with the late Jeffrey Epstein. Sam McAllister, who secured the interview, said Beatrice joined her father at a meeting ahead of the TV appearance. Ms. McAllister said Andrew's eldest daughter was evidently anxious and clearly there to protect his interests. She added that she believed Beatrice was the person who could make the difference between us getting the interview or not. Writing in her new book Scoops, Ms. McAllister said, To be frank, the only thing worse than speaking to a prospective interviewee about allegations of sexual impropriety and sex with a 17-year-old girl is having to do so in front of his daughter. Princess Beatrice was polite and engaged, but, unlike her father, she was evidently anxious about the meeting and clearly there to protect his interests. I'd heard she was close to the Queen. The Prince's eldest daughter was now, I felt, the person who could make the difference between us getting the interview or not. Andrew attempted to draw a line under his friendship with billionaire pedophile Epstein during the interview in November 2019. He insisted he had no recollection of meeting Epstein accuser Virginia Jufri who alleged the Duke sexually assaulted her on three occasions when she was under a teen. The jaw-dropping interview also saw Andrew claim he could not sweat, give an alibi of being at Pizza Express and say he did not regret his association with the disgraced financier. The fallout led to him stepping down from public duty shortly afterwards. And earlier this year he paid millions to settle a civil sex assault case brought against him in the U.S. by Ms. Jufri. He has always strenuously denied the allegations and the settlement was not an admission of guilt on his part.
led to him stepping down from public duty shortly afterwards. And earlier this year he paid millions to settle a civil sex assault case brought against him in the U.S. by Ms. Jufri. He has always strenuously denied the allegations and the settlement was not an admission of guilt on his part.